This might be hidden for you, but to create custom visual interactive experiences in AI mode, what you need to do is go to google.com and enable AI mode. And then at the top menu here, there's a drop down. Make sure you select thinking with generative layouts. The last two examples I have out of the four are my favorites. We'll ask it to show the history of AI. Some other examples that I've already done while it generates the layout. As for the fastest growing cities in the US since 2000 with contributing factors, and it produced this interactive data visualization where you can hover over the bars to see the data points, but an error did occur, so I ran the same query and it gave me some more information, another data visualization, as well as a data table to show the fastest growing cities and the primary drivers. And then there are these cars here where you can explore specific cities, as well as a summary with the top three drivers for growth. And then on the right side, on the right panel, you can see all the sources and explore those as well. Let's check on our query. Okay. Here's the opening paragraph, and then these cards for specific years and events, key events, key milestones in this timeline here. If we click on one of these cards, it brings a modal on the right so we can find more information. And it looks like here, it just gives us the images. Another example we'll run, let's try asking it to show us how bullet trains work. And while that's running, this example, I asked it to show me the offensive and defensive rankings for Super Bowl teams since 2000. So again, the opening paragraph, and here's a data visualization, a chart where we can hover over these data points. And this compares the offensive and defensive rankings for the Super Bowl winners since 2000. There are a couple adjustments that I would personally make for this data visualization, but this is pretty good. And then there's a data table showing you the winners and the losers for each Super Bowl for the time frame. It shows their offensive and defensive rankings, and then the final score. And if we scroll down, it lists the notable extremes and outliers back to our bullet train example it gives us this opening paragraph and this cool animation with this legend as well as settings that we can configure so we can increase the speed or decrease the speed enable the levitation mode show propulsion vectors start stop reset and then it gives us sections like physics of speed and aerodynamics, propulsion, and this table that compares the two different methods. Very cool. This is an awesome feature, and you can really do a lot with generative UI. Let me know what you're going to do with dynamic view. If you found this useful, like the video and leave a comment. If you want more content on AI, workflow automation, and analytics, subscribe to the channel.